Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we are interviewing. Da, da, da. Just introducing yourself. So you already, he has introduced himself already. So let, according to this title, you can already see that I am honored to be in the presence <laughs> of a millionaire, right? And um, from today's video, you can see that like he made six figures in the last twelve months. And to be fair, to the average Nigerian, I mean six figures in dollars, right? To the average Nigerian, that's that's crazy. That's, that's, that's crazy. Legit. It's legit. Legit. It's like it's not it's actually legal means it's like legal. I need to I put that out there. <laughs> it's legal. We don't, we don't do your own here. So yes, um basically we're going to be talking about how that has happened, the entire process that led up to what your life was like before then and how you eventually got this sex life. By the way, we are filming with her, but it's not the stop. Die. Die. Anyway, that's it. Okay, so yeah, that's what I'm going to be doing today. Let's get into it. Alright. Hi, my name is Tony. Uh, it's calm. Yeah. I've known this clown for the past. <laughs> since 2015, I've been. 2015, actually. Yeah. Eight up. years. Eight years. But Did I think you... we only became close like in what? 2017. No, no, it was 2018, 20... 19. It was actually late 20. It was 19. mid 2016 during DGC. Yes. Then after that, after you left, you were not 20. Yes. Uh -huh. And I was 20. It was not 2019 after that um, period. That was when I became like a little bit. But like, I mean, it has been a very great journey. Upward journey. <laughs> and when when it becomes 10 years, you do like tap it. I swear. I swear. Because ah, we've been through it. Yes. Like, Yes, which has stressed the me. Whole last ah, that, which yeah. has stressed me. It did the table back. It didn't stress me at all. It did not stress me. Wow. No, it did not stress me at all. <laughs> no stress at all. Not at all. Uh, okay. Anyway, so um, let's talk about how, it, like, what was, what was your life like before when you actually started actively making money? Okay, wait. What did you do? Oh, yeah. Um. Well, what's I would say publicly is freelance writer. Mm -hmm. But the truth is I don't really write. I just hire people to write. So like more like a I would say I'm a people manager or mm -hmm. content company, something like that. Yeah. Okay. So basically I um source for jobs from um clients, like foreign clients, like mm -hmm. people that want to write their maybe their blog posts, their websites, their books, stuff like that. Mm -hmm. And then um, I get these jobs and outsource them to um people who can write. And then I saw the client and then just feedback and that's basically it, yeah. Okay. Did you do anything else that's Well, yes. Other stuff are cooking. Oh yeah. <laughs> Other stuff are cooking. Yeah. So um well I run a logistics business. Okay. Yeah, um still in its early stages, but we're about to launch big time very, very soon. Like I'm talking about like this week soon. Are you serious? Yeah. Okay. Or latest next week. Um, but we've been in the preparation stages so far. So that's why I say I run it like Saudi on Saudi on ground. Um, we have an Instagram page. I just don't know what it is. We have a we have we have a manager, a social media manager, and we have an Instagram page. We have people, someone that's actually posting activity. We've gotten followers, but I don't even know the pages. Oh, we what? <laughs> I don't even know the pages. I'm sorry. I don't know the the what is MDL MD Logistics. Oh, okay. So you just probably search that on Instagram. You probably see it. Okay. Second thing I do, I run a record label. Nice. That, that is that is wild, right? Nice. <laughs> <laughs> I was not expecting that. I know, right? Yeah. He actually came at the shop in 2020. He actually launched the record label. Yeah. Okay. See, the way I live my life, um, I live my life by the voice of God. And usually, when he just tells me stuff, I don't think too much. Like that, that I think I think that's a good traits but sometimes it can be bad <laughs> i think god knows i'm a very impulsive person so it looks like i just tell me something i'll just do it yeah. I, I think maybe that might actually be an advantage but i, I don't know i feel like there are probably people that will be around you that will always tell you to calm down when you're about to do something that is not it's not really i first bite off yeah, of the, i bite off the more than i want a country and i take out time to now be training small small <laughs> <laughs> like that's what i do that's what i do like not trying to the deep, just start. Okay. Do what if I think that's that that could actually help someone. People have stuff they want to do, they want to start a business, they want to quit their job, mm -hmm. 
right? They want to attend a new church. They want to start a relationship, but they are afraid maybe because of past experiences. The truth is, what the way I tell myself is, what's the worst that can happen? Really, I really tell myself that. Yeah. What the... <laughs> <laughs> really do? Because it is that. I really think about it. The very, very worst that can happen is that I get maybe kidnapped by a Russian mafia mob and they kill me after a couple of months of torture. Right? <laughs> <laughs> well, the point is, eventually I'm still going to die. <laughs> eventually. Right? And, and even if there is no God, I'll just die there. So yeah, there's God yeah, though, yeah, but yeah, even if there is no yeah, God, yeah, I'm yeah. still safe because yeah. the water can happen. I'll be there and then just die there. But if there is God, I'll go to heaven. Yeah. So I have nothing to lose, really. I really have nothing to lose. So you just do what's in your heart, really. Do what's in your heart. How have you been able to? I know that you've earned like six figures in dollars in the last one year or maybe more. But like, how have you been able to deal with that? How have you been able to come to that particular because? I'm sure the reason why you clicked on this video is because you want to make one and <laughs> you obviously thought oh, so what is doing like I'm doing and that's actually crap but so like we're trying to figure out how did you build the build your wealth up until up until this point. Do you want the the version I tell everybody? Yeah. Or the real one? <laughs> <laughs> you want the real one. You want the actually you want the real one. Yes, ah. the real one. Okay. Sacrifices. Sacrifices. <laughs> Can I you? <laughs> you have to make sacrifices. Right. Okay. Let me be serious now. All right. So um I think my journey to to where I've started where I'm going to really really go like deep. I'll probably say maybe for me twenty sixteen. Or 2017, the one I tell everybody most things is let me find is 2019. But I think it really started in 2017. That time in my life, I was around people who were really they were passionate about God, but then they also believed that it was God's way for them to prosper. Yeah. Right. So even though I didn't exactly see it in my life as at that time, but I knew it was possible. I was around people that believed that um you could you could trust God for wealth, right? And I, I was seeing stuff like that around me. I was seeing people prosper, you know. You would have experienced it then, but I knew it was possible. So at the very least, I was somewhat believing for it. Right. Then in 2019 was when it really became real to me. Shout out to Pastor Usain. <laughs> I attend the Church, yeah, yeah. in Ife here. Now, <clears throat> I remember 2019, I think it was, it was definitely December. I was preparing for MB. Yeah. And... Because me and Pastor Summer were talking, we're at health sciences, uh, we're talking downstairs, and if I just told him that Pastor, this life, I have to reach you, I have to have money in this life. I need to have money. And, and then I'm just talking, just listening about it. And then I said that I'm going to make, I, I make my mind that I'm going to be um, giving a tithe to him, uh, my pastor and everything. I'm going to be doing that. You're already stepping on some people's necks. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, but. I, I I know the uh, the share you want me I like. <laughs> you're, you're sorry, but not sorry. Well, sorry, but not sorry. Now my story be this. You know your story. Now, where is your time? Go and reach, open but, your own YouTube, your channel. Go and, your go and talk Thank about you. your own. And if you're angry, angry. don't make this because exactly. Our way. I try to I try to talk my own like this. <laughs> right, so I started. So then um I told him and he said no problem. Um the thing is, well let me just add this for a little context. Um. From when I knew Pastor, from when I knew Pastor Hussein, like a, as a, before, that, that period, before that period, he was very, very shy about, no, should I say shy? More like, he, he wasn't very loud about, like about about people giving, because he didn't want it to look like, oh, he's trying to chase other people's money. But right. you know, all you Twitter people, now you call this kind of rubbish. Where, um, like, pastors are no longer, no longer have, want to tell their people to give, mm. right? Because they feel like ah, they don't want to be seen as predatory, mm. right? So, but then I, I knew that this thing was like it was a godly, it was godly, right? Mm. To give, right? And I started, I'm going to start doing it. I, I started really studying something I would call, ah, this is YouTube, it's going out. It's going out. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's possible to, like, it's, instead, of, instead of first trying to do things to become something so that I will not believe I have it, then I'll start mm -hmm. feeling like it. Mm -hmm. Reverse engineer the process. Right. Start with believing. Yeah. Feel the thing. And then you behave like it because your world will actually conform to it. 
I'm not proud of what. I'm very rich. Sure, you guess. It's I'm actually <laughs> rich. It's not pride. <laughs> I'm very rich. It's I'm not pride. It's actually very rich. <laughs> That period of my life, I learned a lot of things. I learned that um, my internal world creates my external world, mm. right? So instead of focusing on, okay, how do I make money now? I started with just seeing myself as someone who already had it. Right. I know it's a very strange thing to a lot of people because in fact, the Nigerian reality we live in, mm. um, people, we are, we are surrounded with poverty. Like, it's, you cannot turn on the news and not see poverty. Nigeria is literally called the poverty capital of the world. Of the- you get so literally poverty capital of the world. We have more poor people here, per, I mean percentage wise, than any other country, as far as I know. Like, it's uh-huh. quite different, but at least we have we have something. As in, <laughs> we, are, we, are break, we are breaking records. <laughs> we are breaking records. <laughs> we are breaking records. <laughs> so it's difficult to focus on wealth when you are surrounded. So that's why it, it takes some form of discipline, mm. forcing yourself to only see what you want to see in your life. Um, so remember, I would have times when I would. I would pray, and this is another thing I think people should really understand. When you pray, the most important thing that happens in prayer is what you do with your mind. If you are praying and you, so you are, you are, you, what's happening in your mind is sadness or anguish or despair, you are wasting well, your now. time. If, if it's asthma, you are not wasting your time. If it's asthma, you are that, doing something. You are, you are helping the gospel. Asthma <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> anyway. So I would spend time praying and I would focus my imagination, my mind, mm. on seeing myself where I wanted to be. And for me, wealth doesn't mean having a lot. It means being able to give a lot. So I would see myself giving things to people, giving stuff to my parents, being able to bless people around me, my siblings, and stuff like that. That's what I, that, that, to me, that's what made me feel wealthy. Mm. Like I said, reverse engineer the process. Start with beliefs. Yeah. Beliefs produce feelings. Which will try to produce behaviors. The behavior you are looking for, like, oh, I want to be a hustler. Like, I want to be able to do the right moves. I want to be able to make money. Yes, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's not like, you want to be able to do the right things that will make money. Like, you want to invest in the right things. You want to, you know, apply to the right jobs, get the right Mm. jobs. All those things, those behaviors that will lead to wealth. Because truly, success is actually just a combination of habits, behaviors. Those behaviors start from beliefs. If you believe that you are a trenches, poor, broke person, that you are trying to make it out, you will not, you will always be that. Right. Even if you make, you get some measure of success, you will still always be that person trying to come out of the trenches. Mm. You will never come out. Jesus. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> but but you, it has to start with that mm. internal belief. Mm. Change how you see yourself. That's what, that's what I was doing during the lockdown. And then, um, in, um, when, when I came back to Ife, um, I started other stuff. So yes, let me add one more thing. I, I, I read books that helped me in this. I remember I read, oh, the audio book anyway, mm. um, Think and Grow Rich. I know people say things like, oh, this is like scars or motivation. Read it first. Most people that say those things, they have not really read the book. Mm. That's why they say those things. Go and read it first. At least go on YouTube. The audio book is nine hours. You have nine hours to spend. In a month, you can hear it in one month. Hear it out. Right? You will see things about yourself that didn't even exist. Yeah. I learned a lot of things and it really helped you. It expanded my mind. Helped me to see that I think there were there were a lot of stories of people who were who were in worse situations than I, than I am, than I was then. Mm. Much, much worse situations. Mm. And they became billionaires. Right. And you know, it's, it's, it's not luck. I, I generally feel like most of these motivational books actually put your mind in a place where it's, it's easier for you to even when you're praying, it's easier yeah, for you to, to see, the right see something. Yes, to yeah. see, see where you're going. People fight motivational books because they think that um, it's unrealistic. Mm. But at the very least, let it change your belief. Right. Let it make at least pretend it's possible. So don't don't cancel motivational. Don't cancel books. those things. Don't cancel them. Though. Pretend it is possible. Like really, even even if it's not possible, it's not impossible to you yet. Mm. Pretend it is, and from that place, you just begin to pretend that you can actually be rich. Mm. You understand? Right. You get those behaviors that will lead to wealth and success. It starts with sincere beliefs about yourself. Right. What do you believe about you? Do you believe, you know, what if told you money does not grow on trees? Mm. I don't know about you. My own money grows on trees. It'll be growing on trees. It'll be growing on trees. You know, uh, remember that 2010 period? My money grows like grass. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> that was actually a t shirt. Yeah, about t-shirt and everything. Like grass. See, you have to really take out time to actually really believe the right things. Mm. YouTube is a great resource. Watch videos of people. YouTube who, is a fantastic. Yes, resource. Subscribe, subscribe to 
subscribe to my channel too yes, in case you're watching this please subscribe thank you <laughs> people many of you are hearing you know what you probably be thinking in your mind uh, you don't know the things they really did why do you think that somebody cannot make it without doing bad things what you do bad why what you do bad things if it's bad 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 thing that's what like, you're in your head if you, do, if you believe that's that's what it is you, that, know, you will not make it until you do bad things <laughs> Start looking mm. for resources that actually mm. talk about how you can be wealthy. Mm. Right? Read, read, read up on people. Find that at the very least, this, what this does for you it expands your mind. Right. It makes you see that it's possible. At the very before we even go into behaviors, success habits, stuff like that. At the very least, start with your beliefs. Mm. You stand, believe that it's yeah. possible for you. And then we can go from there. We can go from there. Stuff. So I think the next um the next question I would want to ask now is what is your lifestyle like now? Because I mean you've talked about you've talked about how it was or how exactly you built wealth up until this point. So no. like what is like the what what's your lifestyle like now? Like because I mean I, I know that one of the things that you mentioned was um you thought about the fact that you'll be able to give when you oh, have yeah. money. Yeah. So I, I I guess that's like going to be like play a huge part in all of this but like what is your lifestyle like now how are you maintaining that wealth you know okay. save and save, save and invest but beyond that of course do i have savings yeah. i have someone that manages my money so i don't i probably have savings doing in this life <laughs> have money I, let me go back a little bit to i said um i had a contract with my pastor i thought i was going to be giving mm -hmm. right? and then i started officially middle of 2020 right and See, remember, I think my first title of learning with two kids, three kids, something like that. Are you serious? Yeah. Yeah. And I, I, I just came to it every month. What I'll do, I'll download my account statement um, at the end of every month, yeah. go through it, how much money came into my account that was for me, and I would do the math 10% and send it to him. I noticed that it just kept getting better. Right. Um, I think sometime in, this is in 2020, yes. I think, was it like, like September or October 2020? I got my first job, yeah. which was very, very weird. Just somebody that reached out to me, asked me to teach a particular skill, some people, yeah. skill I had, and it was, it was nice. And I think in December, I made my first 100k. I still remember the feeling. See, there's nothing like the first 100k. Yes. There's nothing like it. I agree. The first <laughs> 1 million doesn't come close. The first 10 million doesn't come close. The first 100k the first is like, 100K oh my God, I've made it. like, I've made it in, in life. life. Like, like, we are coming from... You know, two K, three K, yeah. hundred K. Like, oh, jeez, that's so money. I'm rich. They call me. Let me take you out. Let me take you out. Come let in. me take. Let me. Cho let me, is my <laughs> let me spoil you. I remember what I did with it. I went to go and buy shawarma. I went because yeah. I was hungry. Oh God, I did not. I did not eat anything. <laughs> but I did not have money. <laughs> then I got paid. I just went. I went to go and buy shawarma. Oh God, see about the feeling. The feeling. It, it, like, it feels God, right. I don't, I don't blow. It just feels right. I don't blow. This is so important to have a good pastor in life. And I think sometime in February or so, or January in 2021, mm -hmm. I told me that quit your job and open up work. So, instructions? Yeah, what? instructions, yeah. Year word. Please help me tell her. The year word. Yeah, this girl. Don't have coconut heads. <laughs> anyway, so I started up work then March 2021. Mm -hmm. I still remember my first job was in March, was March 9th. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It was really so a, a client paid me hundred dollars to write a, an article of eight hundred words. Are you serious? <laughs> it was new to go for so he so probably didn't know what he was doing. Yeah, you said it's a mistake. I didn't know. I thought that's the way up of course. Ah, so that's how you're supposed to pay me. Ah, uh, nice. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it, was, it was really nice actually. So then um but I, from then to now, there's a lot of things there. I don't think the entire thing can fit in this video. Mm -hmm. But one thing I know was consistent throughout that time till now. Was my culture of giving um of course my giving to my pastor definitely increased um, and then i started giving to people a lot um i think it's really i think giving is really underrated um giving goes against fundamental falling human nature mm -hmm. the truth is humans are essentially selfish that's the truth like we are, we are essentially selfish are fundamentally selfish and I, th I think the opposite of love is not hate. I think the opposite of love is selfishness. Giving, giving is a very, very, it, it's not, it's not talked about enough to be honest. Because and I, and I know why. Um, you know, there have been scams. There have been people who want to just cheat people. You know, I'm sure if you're on Twitter, you would have seen the way they dragged people that talk about that. They dragged yeah. people that would, would not be your grandfather. They dragged them. <laughs>
it strips you of, should I say, of your power in the sense of, it strips you of your dependence on money. Let me put it like that. That's the best mm. way to put it. It strips your dependence on money. Uh, see, trust me, the way money makes you feel. I, I know this. <laughs> money makes you feel very powerful. Mm. So it makes you feel like you can do anything. But when you give it away, you are shifting your attention from like your dependence on money mm-hmm. and you're depending on somebody who owns all things and who has promised to take care of you. So if God is mine, so if I'm trusting God, the greatest sign that I'm trusting God is that I'm giving. Right. But I do not hoard. Um, Solomon wisely said once that there is a person that um, selfishly withholds that withholds when is necessary. I lead to poverty. Yeah. And there is a person that scatters, that is generous. I lead to abundance. Yeah. See, before you tell me that, oh, you know somebody that was giving, I still, still broke. Please don't, don't it, bring God that cool, to it's me. Cool, it's you, cool. Just your experience, God will assist you. Cool. <laughs> but the truth is, the way this universe works, anything that will come back has to first be released. You plant a seed, you get the harvest. Yeah. Right? You plant one corn, you get multiple cobs of corn that have several um, grains on it. You take right. that, you plant it again, you get an entire field. Take that, plant it again, and an, a, an even bigger field. Right? And more, a, a, a greater harvest. That's just the way the world works. Right. Um, God wanted to have a, he wanted to have many children, many sons, many kids. Yeah. And what did he do? He gave his own kid. He gave his own son away. Yeah. So, right? He planted his son and raped several sons. That is the love of the universe. Yeah. Give and receive. So what am I saying? Does that mean that um, uh, I just give to collect? Well, it's you that I know. I, I don't even have energy to answer you. It's the fact that you're so, so, so stressless See, for the, me. The, the truth is, I, my experiences... I, I, you cannot affect my money. Mm. You cannot affect the fact I'm rich. <laughs> I have money. Like, I'm and rich. I made money There's from nothing giving. you can do about it. I, fact, I, I, think, I think that's the fact that people need to come to terms with. Like, it's okay for you to decide to accept somebody's beliefs and it's okay for you to decide to discard it. Yeah. You clicked on this video. You now, you watch, now, now you watch them. And if you disagree with it, you could actually decide to try it out, to be honest. And if you disagree with it completely, that's also fine with you. Yeah. You can click out or okay. you can stay and just watch, but it's fine. Honestly. But I think I think um that idea of giving, that um culture of giving is is more is less about um it's less about oh it's, I'm giving because I'm a Christian and more about who you are as a person. Because to be honest, you can't give to people and and hate people. You can't give yeah. to people and not actually genuinely feel compassion or feel love towards them because yeah. it's I don't know. It just has a way of reconfiguring or rewiring your heart towards people, like people around you, people, yeah. people you're related to, people you're not related it's to. It's also that reverse engineering thing. I can yeah. remember years ago, there was one guy that offended me. Mm. but genuinely offended. I was genuinely upset. I, had, I can't even remember what it was anymore. <laughs> but it was that time I was upset. And then I felt God tell me to give him, give to him. Mm. Bro. And are, are you joking? <laughs> Bro, God actually has a very huge <laughs> sense of humor. Very right. huge. Well, I did. I did then. And the truth is, it changed my perception of the person. Mm. It changed my perception of the person. No. Right. There's, there's a way giving opens your heart in a way that nothing else does. Mm. It, it opens your heart very. There are many people that they are praying, asking God for breakthroughs, asking God for wealth. Mm. But the truth is, you are selfish. Right. Money cannot come to a place where it will not be released. It's the fact. Money is literally currency. It's meant to flow. Like it's meant to come then go and flow into people's lives. Let, let people know that. Let people feel your presence. Yeah, right? let, let people, people be blessed by, what, be you blessed by what you have. Yeah. I said earlier, my definition of wealth is not in how much I have. Yeah. It's in how much I'm able to give. I still survive. I still survive. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Right. See, that's the true definition of wealth, right? If I'm able to give 90% of what I have away, and I'm still very, very, very good with 10%. Right. I mean, I'm very wealthy, right? Yeah. Wealth is not about hoarding. You know, there's this story in the Bible about this guy. The Bible calls him the rich fool. Yeah. <laughs> very, very funny. Rich yeah. fool. This guy, you know, he had this, he planted seed, was a farmer, made a, a huge harvest, more than he's used to. Yeah. And he said, I'm going to, I'm going to tear down my former barns, yeah. build bigger barns, mm-hmm. and I'll tell myself, relax and be happy yeah. that you're okay. And then God appears to me and I says, you're a fool. And tonight, your soul will be required of you. <laughs> you know, and it was very funny because 
the reason why he got that harvest was so he could share with others. Right. He get he was supposed to you are receiving so you can be a blessing to others. To yeah. others. Real wealth is in the ability to help other people. When I give, it's it's actually an investment. Mm. And my investment, you know, the Bible says you sow what you, you will reap what you sow. I just said this thing like so many people. <laughs> this thing you will reap where you sow. Mm. Said so you will reap what you sow. Mm. So and of course, when you plant the seed, you are not going to just reap what you sowed in the sense of the exact thing. You reap. Yeah. You plant. You get. Yeah, so just because I give, I don't give expecting to receive from them. Right. You get. Like I'm not. That's just, that's not exactly given. Right. Yeah. But I'm giving knowing that it's a principle. I'm obeying a, a, a principle of God. God literally said, as long as the earth remains, seed, time, and harvest will never cease. Mm. Right. That means as long as this world exists, to receive you have to give. Plant a seed, you get the harvest. Mm. Right. And it's just it's just how it is. It's how God has set this universe to operate. Right? And the things that we do, the behaviors we exhibit in um, like getting jobs, working, you know, hustling, quote, starting a business, all those things. The thing that, should I say, drives your belief in knowing you can succeed, that thing that drives you yeah. is, okay, let me backtrack a little bit. Okay. Now, giving not only affects the universe, the world around you, right. it also affects you. You understand? Mm-hmm. Giving, like I said earlier, it shifts your dependence, your dependence away from money and puts it on God. Right. So if God is your source, if you believe that God is your source, that means this guy who is bigger than you mm. is obligated to meet your needs. Yeah. Right. Now, he's going to do it tr- through what you do, your work, and he will lead you to the things that he knows you probably will do best. So, but those things, those um, external results of you being in the right at the right time, you um, starting the right business, you having the right contacts, right. those lucky, um, should I say coincidences? Coincidences. Right. Mm-hmm. I, I still remember somebody that, <laughs> it's a very, very funny story. There's this guy, and I, I still, I know the guy, the guy is in, he stays in Ife, in Ife. Right. Um, this guy, um, you used to sell, if I'm not wrong now, if I remember correctly, he sells like all these phone accessories, mm-hmm. um, keep, um, pouches, skin guards, stuff like all this phone stuff. Right? Mm-hmm. Yes, I did. He met Pastor Usain. I think Pastor Usain told him that. So it was still complaining to Pastor Usain that, ah, I'm on, this guy, his business is difficult, that he's just broke, mm-hmm. you know, he doesn't have anything. I said, Pastor Usain, I'm not giving this instruction. Just tomorrow, step out of your container and just be smiling and greeting everybody that passes by. Mm-hmm. Just be greeting everybody. Just be smiling and be happy. Are you serious? And the guy normally don't behave. The guy is always very gloomy and down. So you oh. got to do opposite what you would normally do. Yeah. So the guy stood next day. Just greeting everybody. Greeting everybody. Greeting everybody. And then I saw, you said somebody yeah. that now says, I like you. I was actually going somewhere to buy, like, I was going to buy, like, a, like a, huge, a whole shipment of particular products, like several. But I like you. I'm going so to buy it from you. Oh this guy God. doesn't even have. He doesn't even have up to the amount the guy needs. So he just pays him all the money he needs. And mm. then he starts to order for him. For, for him. Oh my God. Then he makes his profit. And after this guy's business started really scaling up. Then he builds a strong relationship with this guy. Yeah. And so that time to now, even to now, the guy is always outside the shop. He treats him. Oh, smiling. really? Yes. He's smiling now. Now, that <laughs> lucky, that lucky event. Mm. You can't work for that. So the external behaviors that will result from that, very few things can give you that thing like giving. Right. Like very few things can, should I call it, expand your belief, expand your heart. Giving has a way of just making you feel wealthy. Mm. Trust me, it does. Even though it may seem hard when you're doing it, but you are expanding your heart. You're making you feel like, you are beginning to feel like, okay, this is what wealth feels like. This is what wealthy mm. people feel like. And it's, it's, it's a very, very beautiful practice. Like, if anybody asks me what is the secret, I will not say business or work or uh, truth is the way I am now, I hardly work anymore. Mm. I like you know when it says I early retirement. Hey God, I'm I good. hardly work anymore. I I have a system in place that allows yeah. me to generate money and oh yeah. Um I have this um thing that automatically regenerates money for me. 
automatically yeah. generates money for you. I like to generate money too. Oh, but you need to have money to be able to do it in the first place. Like you need to have money to do it. So it's like forex stuff, Sha. Okay. So I don't do anything. It just generates it for me personally. If I say anything in terms it, I'll, I'll probably say it's giving my culture of giving. I know it, it might seem out of place, it might seem weird. You are going to say deep stuff. Like this is not deep. Eh, it's I, not deep. It's not deep now. But I think I think it's, I think it's just general. What may make internalizing this a little difficult is just the fact that people are not used to. Not everybody is used to just giving without yeah. reason. Like it just doesn't make sense for you to just say, okay, you know what. Well, not that it just doesn't make sense. It's just probably not a lot of people's practice. The general idea behind giving and how most people are not used to just you're not just you're not used to just deciding. Okay, you know what? Or maybe maybe except we're raised like that. But I don't think that the average man or woman would want to just wake up and just dash somebody one millionaire. Do you understand what I mean? Or just decide. Okay, you know what? I see a need. Some people say, oh, okay, so I see a need. I want to meet it with a business something you can make money off of and yes that's giving but like i feel like there's not that there isn't really that um culture of giving in so many people so that might be hard to take in yeah. that might be like hard I to said, internalize you know, but... um, most most people are like humanity is generally selfish like we are inherently selfish everything we do is for ourselves yeah. um ask the average nigerian medical student where are you studying medicine to want... save lives, or because they told you that there's money inside. Because they, because told, they you, told you that there's money. There's they, no money there's in it, you know. <laughs> Unless you are going abroad. Unless you are going to the US. There's no money there's there. There's money. Mm-hmm. Okay, so like I was saying, um, the humanity is inherently selfish because everybody wants to look out for themselves. Like it's literally in our lingua, self care, uh, yeah. put yourself first. Yeah. You know, and I understand where those things come from. Sometimes. Going the other extreme might help balance in another extreme of mm-hmm. just being, you know, unreasonably generous. Because there's also generosity within if within reason. Reason. Um, sometimes people just want to be eat of you, so that one you have to be careful about it. Mm-hmm. There's that there's that extreme too where people just don't take it. Me, I, I know how to say no. That's something I, I like that about myself. I think having money gave me that confidence. Yeah. Right. You cannot beat me. No. <laughs> Will you beat me? <laughs> no, you cannot beat me. If you want to beat me, I have I can't pay someone to beat you first. <laughs> I've already built something in me in myself that allows me like my default state mm. is generosity. Mm. There are times when there will be breaking some transmission. Right. So I know there's a problem. So I'm my heart is sensitive enough to know that sometimes people it's not your place to help. Maybe it's not you that should help them. Right. Maybe that thing they are going through. They should actually go through it. I'm serious. You know that. <laughs> <laughs> some people should actually go to the pool and are going through. So they will learn some lessons. Yes. Sometimes what we are doing in helping people, we are circumventing a process. Mm. And that process will help their life. It's just the fact of life. There was a particular person I know in my life. This person is my friend. I see, I've seen her for like, I've been friends with her since for years, several years. Now, there was a time be in the past, she had come to meet me to ask for help, like I should help her business, stuff like that. I said, okay, but I'm not doing anything. You understand? Okay. There was no, there was nothing in me that wanted to do it. Right. But then fairly recently, I just, I walked past her in church and then next thing, I just, it's like the vibe changed. Mm. I don't know how to explain it. Okay, I know how to explain this, but it's a bit too long. <laughs> but the vibe changed. I yeah. could just tell something has changed in this person. And later mm. I found out what actually happened to the person if I say this thing now. People, most people know who the person is. But I will say it. Somewhere in this person's life, this person has switched in their heart from complaining to mm. Thanksgiving. I didn't know this. Mm. But that's a very spiritual thing. Like, there's that extreme of just being Father Christmas. I'm not Father Christmas. Mm-hmm. Check it. But I follow my heart. So, usually, in a bit to balance that extreme out, people now become self centered. Right. People now do things like uh, self care, put yourself first, you know, you above everyone. Mm. And that is also a very terrible culture because you cannot live your life like that. Mm. You cannot be selfish, self centered, everything is about you. But that, 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 the problem of this world, the most of the problem is because of self centeredness. Mm. Nobody, nobody wants to think about how does the other person feel. Right. What's the perspective of the other person? 
sometimes Christians are very guilty of this thing. Mm. Even before you before you judge that your gay friend, sit down and listen to them. Mm. To be honest, if you were in their position, if you got through some of the things they've gone through, you probably not act differently. Right. It's the truth. Mm-hmm. It's self-centeredness that causes this thing. You do not right. want to think about another person. It's all about you, 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 you. And that's the exact opposite of what God stands for. Mm-hmm. Because he loves us. That's the that's the essence of who he is. Love, generosity, kindness to humanity. Mm-hmm. Look outside yourself. Mm-hmm. Self-centeredness is the source of all grief. Mm-hmm. You understand? Mm-hmm. The reason why uh, people cheat on their partners is because they are self-centered. They, they think about themselves before the other person. The other what person. how what I'm doing will he, how will it make the other person feel? Mm. The reason why people would you know steal and mm. you know steal public funds because they, they they care only about themselves. They don't mm. care about the next person. Oh, I've stealing this money now. It would probably money was due to fix on roads. Somebody can have accident because of this money I'm stealing. Right. They're not thinking like that. They're not thinking this money should be used to build certain schools it's that just, will help someone's life. Just what is about do for me. you? So you person right. will have billions in their account. Mm. Their account that they don't need because they are they're thinking, oh, I want my. You will not go to the money to hell. I'm sorry, to your grave with that money. Still to hell, but you, you, know, you, you still go to hell. <laughs> you go to hell with the money. I'm going to die one day, mm. right? And what immortalizes people is what they do for others. You understand? Mm. What makes you, what Keep makes you them. remain in history right. is what you've done for others. What you've done for the world. It's not just because you amassed so much. It's because of what you're able to give. So it's something that we have to be very deliberate about in killing within ourselves. We need to kill selfishness. Right. Of course, I, I'm not saying that you should not become Father Christmas and not be throwing money around and all of that. But I'm saying be be kind, be deliberate about it. Before even money, what do you mean? It starts with you being a kind person, mm. with you actually wanting to help. Right. Of course, there's some people that um, they are just lazy and they don't want to do anything. Other people don't want to be eating of people. Mm. I'm not talking about people. I'm talking about people who genuinely need help. If you can, and if your heart agrees with it, please do. Understand? Like, there's somebody that needs money to buy. If I student, someone needs money to buy material. You have extra. Buy it. Help them. Like, it will cost you. Will not. You are thinking of this one can help you to buy food later. You will buy. You will food in your house. You eat it. <laughs> like you will be fine. You will not die. Mm-hmm. Like. Actually, build a culture of generosity. It's something that I'm raising my family to to actually have. Like my kids will know this thing. A culture of generosity. Mm. We are generous people. Understand? This is how we maintain wealth. To be honest, this is how we maintain wealth. I'm not. This is so. This is also me saying that. I'm, I'll, let me say it like this. I'm also not saying that God is a slot machine. Put money inside. Go through money, money back out. out. That's <laughs> what I'm saying. Let me just do, see it like this. Mm. Giving generosity, giving generosity, it's, it's a culture. It's, it starts with, it's, a, it's a belief thing. I'm not doing it just so I can get. Right. I'm doing it because it's my nature. It's who I am. It's, very, it's not, it, it, it's a thing of behavior. Like it's a behavior thing. It's habit. Mm. I'm generous. At the same time, this habit is a productive habit. Right. There is a principle in God. Give I shall be given unto you. And that was the way this world worked. Apart from even, even if God, quote unquote, did not exist, but God exists, please. But apart from God Himself, this principle already exists. Right. You plant a seed, you reap a harvest. It's just the way it is. You understand? God set that law to be, He created that law to be like that. Mm. And that's the way this world runs. Yeah. Plant a seed, you receive a harvest. So um, if you have this as a value in your life, Start with having that as a value. Like I said earlier, um, to me, the real definition of wealth mm. is not how much I'm able to get, it's how, how much, much I'm able, able to give. To give. Wow. So, yeah, that's what this is one I don't tell people. The one I tell people mm. is that, oh, I do upwork. I, you know, it does upwork. Um, I have, I, I've already said it now. I have, have a system, have that, a works, system that allows me to, you know, the reason for that system is from God. There's also that. So if... And I have business, other businesses I run here and there. Right. Okay. Thank you so much for this. is very, very loaded. We were able to, one way or the other, talk about giving sacrifices. Yes. We were able to talk about making, making sacrifices. Making sacrifices. <laughs> talk about giving, making sacrifices, um, being kind to people, all of that. And like, I don't know, I feel like as a result of all of the things that we've talked about, 
there's no way that there's no way that your wealth won't grow there's no way that your heart towards people won't change and there's no way that you are going to be a stingy person at the end of the day even when your money increases because these things work because i mean this thing was this things work it, it may sound like motivational speech or things they're just taking right right out of the bible and just saying i don't know that but like the fact is the bible is real the word of god works the word of god is real god is real whether you want to believe it or not i saw this meme on instagram <laughs> where this person goes oh that you know that the worst thing is for atheists would be when they died when they die and now realize so that god is real god. and then you just die and then you wake up in heaven and you're like oh shit <laughs> <laughs> and it's like and then at that point you already know you messed up right, and then yes. it, at that point the guy was like the guy was like you just look at god and just be like you know what, what? don't worry wh- which way is hell wait, wait, wait. right or left like, <laughs> i'm just gonna go <laughs> i'm just going to go so yeah i think i think that would actually really really help um the hearts of people in the spirit of generosity in spirit of generosity let me do something nice for your subscribers. Are you serious? Ah! Okay. Let's do. What are we doing? A hundred k giveaway. Are you serious? All right. So you guys were announcing the um hundred k giveaway. The description for the giveaway is the um criteria for the giveaway is going to be in the description box below. So if you actually want to earn, not to well earn it, sure. If you want to earn hundred thousand naira from this giveaway. Check out the details in the description box below. Whoever is able to get the highest number of subscribers wins this giveaway. All right. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. And I will see you guys on the next one. Bye. Wow, that was a lot. And that is a wrap.